There are a lot of ways to remotely access your computer. This is such an innovation when it comes to presenting your report or lesson in your work or in your class, or just want to prank others. In this series, we will talk about a different example of such application. BT Remote PC is an Android application which allows you to remotely control your PC over the Bluetooth or Wi-Fi. That makes it a great advantage among others. You don't need to pay for the internet data to use it. It is compatible with the Windows XP, up to the latest Windows 10, Mac OS X, and Linux. Get access to your computer via Android smartphone. The application provides access to services such as mouse, keyboard, multimedia, presentation, power system commands, terminal, or even the display desktop. Just last May 5 of this month, BT Remote PC version 2 was released. The mobile application got completely new design, easy to use interface, a swipe away from other services, and a much better performance than the previous version. It also comes with the new Remote PC Server version 2 which you can download from their official website which you can see on the link below. For the steps to connect to your computer, download the server on their official website. Download and install the remote PC server version 2 to your computer. But be careful which of the servers you will download. It will still depend on the Android application type and version and the operating system of your computer. And the most necessary requirements of all is the Java JRE8 application. If you are in a hurry and don't want the trouble of installing too many applications, just download the portable remote PC server version to full with a bundle of JRE8. After installing and copying all the necessary files to your computer, turn on the wireless adapter and pair your PC with your Bluetooth device or just the IP address of your computer. After that, run the server. Open the server and check the status in your notification area. Run the mobile application. Choose a connection. If it is Bluetooth, find the computer from the paired devices list. Or if it is on Wi-Fi, type the Wi-Fi address. If you still cannot establish a connection with your computer, you can visit their tutorial webpage on the link below. For the mouse service, the mouse interface is just like any other touchpad. Use your finger to drag, hold and release for the right click, double tap and drag for the double left click, and use your two finger for swiping or scrolling. For the multimedia service, 
To use the multimedia button, you must select the right multimedia player first. It supports Apple iTunes, Clementine, KM Player, Power DVD, Rhythm Box, VLC Media Player, WinAmp, and Windows Media Player. The power command service, it contains the shutdown, restart, hibernate, sleep, lock, switch user functions. In addition, it also contains the remote terminal interface for advanced users. The presentation service. For me, this is the best part for this application. Rather buying an expensive wireless presenter that has only few features to use, this is a much better alternative to it. And the best part of it, it is free. To use it, the windows of the presentation has to be in the foreground. It supports MS PowerPoint and Adobe Reader, which is the most used presentation application of teachers. I didn't yet try to use it on other presentation application if it's also working. Its buttons are very simple. The full screen, it is used to run the presentation. The previous button for the previous slide. The next button for the next slide. And the close button to terminate your presentation. It also contains a timer to monitor how long you are presenting or it can be also used to time your activities or your seat works. The keyboard service. When you're already familiar with the Android device with a physical keyboard, you can start to write something using the mouse or the desktop service. And there are customizable shortcuts to choose from, if you're the person who likes hotkey stuff. The desktop service. Do all the movements with the cursor, like in the mouse service, and you can see the actual screen on your computer. The only drawback is when using the Bluetooth connection which have lags due to slower connectivity than the Wi-Fi connection. BT Remote PC version 2 is a decent application in terms of controlling your presentation and multimedia application. With easy to navigate interface, and a good alternative as a wireless presenter with some minor drawbacks in terms of its Bluetooth connection and desktop service. With its zoom in and zoom out function, sometimes malfunctioning, I hope they will fix it in the future updates and the advertisement for the free version. This will not come as a problem if you have an extra 74 pesos or $1.49 to spare in buying the paid version. So thanks for watching. If this video interests you, click the like button and share it with your friends. 
and don't forget to subscribe to see more content like this. As always, stay curious.